Okay, in this video I'm going to give an example of a Poisson uh, distribution, a random variable from real life that would be appropriate to model a, model with uh, a Poisson random variable. So suppose that on average I get a spam email every 12 hours. That's a pretty liberal estimate. Probably more frequent than that on average. And let's suppose that I um, go on a 30-day vacation. Oops. And let's suppose that I go on a 30-day vacation. I'm going to let x be the number of spam emails I receive while gone. And first we're going to look at the distribution of x, and then we're going to calculate the probability that I have at least 50 spam emails when I return. Okay, so for this random variable x, um, it can have values 0, 1, 2, etc. Okay, it could be I get zero emails. It could be I get one email, two emails. It could be I get five billion emails, uh, which would not be very likely, as zero emails would not be very likely, but certainly possible, at least under the theoretical distribution. So for any of those k values, what's the probability that my random variable is equal to that k? Well, for a Poisson distribution, remember that it's e to the minus lambda, lambda to the k, over k factorial, where lambda is the average. More specifically, lambda is the average number of emails I would get on a 30-day vacation. So, since I have um, 12, an email every 12 hours, and there's 30 days, that means there's 60 12-hour periods, I would expect to get 60 emails. So, in this case, I've got lambda equals 60. So, my probability distribution is e to the minus 60, uh, 60 to the k over k factorial, for k um, being a non-negative integer. And now we're going to calculate, we're going to get a decimal approximation for the probability that I get at least 50 um, emails. At least 50 emails while I am gone. Okay, so let's pull up Wolfram Alpha to do that. Okay, so I'm going to go to Wolfram Alpha, and I actually forgot to write down the sum, but we'll write that down. I'll go back to that blackboard screen. We're going to sum my um, my distribution function. So that was what e to the power of minus lambda. So that's minus 60 uh, times 60 to the power of k divided by k factorial, and we're wanting to sum this from k equals 50 to infinity. Okay, I'll press enter. And we have, it looks like, about a um, about a 92% probability of getting at least 50 emails on the um, on the vacation. So that's sort of interesting, about 0.915593. Okay, so I'm going to go back to my um, blackboard and write down the sum that we entered into Wolfram Alpha, and then also the decimal approximation that we got, 0.9156. Alright, so this probability was the sum from k equals 50 to infinity of our um, distribution function here, e to the minus 60, 60 to the k, all over, whoops, that should have been k factorial. K factorial. Okay, and we found that this was about 0 0.915, a 
believe it was six next. So it's about a 92% chance that if I go on a 30-day vacation, I'll end up with at least 50 emails in my inbox. Okay, so that was an example of a Poisson random variable. A Poisson random variable um, happens when you're looking for the number of times something happens in a, so the number of times something occurs in a continuous time interval, and it's a, and it's a finite time interval. It's like the binomial distribution, except that in the binomial distribution where you're dealing with a finite number of trials, whereas in the Poisson distribution you're dealing with a finite interval, but that interval has an infinite number of possibilities in which the event can happen.